Am I in it? Yes, perfect. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna look at this back and it's no, gonna be like it's horrible. It's really perfect. I'm really? telling you. Okay, it's really horrible, I'll tell you. It's horrible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's that? What's that? <laughs> The subject of the topic that you want to see. matter of fact, if they if we get enough likes, I don't think we will because I think I'm boring as <laughs> I don't think people will like to listen to me. But if we get enough likes, I'll make my appearance, my debut. I'm sorry, sooner than I sooner than we discuss earlier in the film. Okay. But like, okay, I don't think so. I think I'm boring. I think I'm you know, it is what it is, but I'll get the fans what they want. But it's okay. That's if they want it. What if nobody actually wants to see you? Nah, that's fine. And I'm <laughs> totally fine with that. You know? I'm just kidding. But no, you're not kidding. I'm kidding. Be- okay, so in the spirit of us coming to near the water and like kind of the woods. Not really the woods, but there are like kind of woods here. Ooh, I wanted to tell you like, <laughs> I, I mean, it's not like New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah like I'm super woodsy. But oh, I she wanted to say tell she, she by herself like that? Yeah, I guess so. Stop talking so loud. She I'm can sorry. hear you. <laughs> so I wanted to tell you the story of a creepy story. Mm-hmm. Are you ready? You're not going to be too scared? The last story I was scared about. and I was scared. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't scared like... um. I wasn't scared like I couldn't go. There's different types of frights. I wasn't scared like I could not go anywhere by myself. But I was scared like I couldn't go anywhere by myself in the house or asleep by myself. So I cuddled you extra tight that night. And, you know, <laughs> the dreams happened. But I, if I woke up, I'm you right there. So, you know, it is what it is. So I'm ready. I think I'm ready. It's daytime. It okay. is daytime. So I you should be sun. fine. It doesn't. It, it the sun the doesn't set off. for like an hour, right? Yeah, show them. Show them where we're at. Oh, I showed them already. I okay. took a flick up of it. I took, yeah, so. oh, I took a clip already. You know, shout out to Baltimore. You know, Baltimore is a good place to live. Good place to strive, you know. Um, originally from New York, but, you know, it's a good setting to, you know. Mm-hmm. If your mind's right, you can make it anywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna say New York anthem, but like especially in Baltimore. Right? No, that's Baltimore, definitely true. Baltimore is like I agree. a lot of love, a lot of you know nature here in the outs, outskirts of the city. You know, it's a lot of families mm-hmm. here and stuff like that. It's a beautiful city. You know, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful city. So you know, appreciate it. But yeah, go on with the story. Maybe one day we could do like um, I know they recently had. It's actually cool. They had like a pop up like. I think it was a pop up restaurant in like the middle of a bank. Yeah. It was cool. Okay, so basically, I watched this video about aliens, conspiracy theories, and how supposedly like the government created national forests to kind of like allow aliens to like abduct and whatnot, experiment. I don't know, it was like a weird video how apparently there's a lot of like unexplained mysteries that happen in the national forests. And within the comments of that video, I found them, they were talking about this lady. And basically, like, her story, like, was scary. So, basically what happened was, she is originally, well, I don't know if she's from there, but she was living in Hawaii right before the pandemic started. Where in Hawaii? I don't know. It it didn't say. Wow. So, so went to Hawaii, you don't know where? I don't know where. So, basically, like, she decided be when the pandemic started this was to, back in 2020 i want to say it was around june she basically told her family that she was moving to california because she wanted to be kind of more in like the wilderness and like away from people she wanted to get off the island right because of covid and stuff mind you this lady she's she's kind of older i mean she was kind of in her 60s a little background on her she was like a nature survivalist she loved nature she actually went to school to be a park ranger she was like a survivalist she loved outdoors she was always camping she did all that stuff right so i don't mean it's so funny mm-hmm. but like the park rangers like in pokemon who's like you know like out there when you're on a search and you talk to them like yeah like a park like, ranger yeah, like a exactly. supporter for other people who go no, on exactly. campsites yeah exactly okay, when you go ha- hiking and stuff like that yeah they basically want, maintain okay. it they help people that's because I only want camping locally you know my, my peers basically so I don't know what a mm-hmm. park ranger I never encountered a park ranger good or for worse I don't know 
you know. But, yeah, okay, that yeah. Makes sense. That's what a park ranger does. Um. Anyway, and they they're people that just work in the like parks and stuff like that. And so she. <laughs> and so she like told her family. I don't think it was a call. I think it was just a message, or maybe it was a call. But she basically decided to. We're gonna go window shopping at Best Buy. Um, so we're gonna take you guys with us. We're excited because Matthew works a lot and he like never gets a day off. So today is like, or not today, sorry. Tomorrow is the first day we both have like a day off together. And so we're just gonna adventure and spend time together. So we're gonna eat it and tell me what we're gonna get. We're gonna get a camera, you know? Yeah, we're gonna get a guys. camera. Because I've, I'm just using my phone. But and the memory's running and out. And the memory's running <laughs> As out. As you guys know. And like the, the quality will definitely be better. Um, the editing should be quicker once that happens. And yeah, so we're gonna take you guys with us and you can see what camera I'm going to get. And in case you wanna start your own channel, you can get the same camera. We're gonna go to Best Buy. Okay, see you guys later. So we're at the urgent care because Matthew, he has a little, I don't even know if it's a sty, but it's like his eye is like all swollen and red and it really hurts and it's heavy. So I we brought him to the urgent care. Mm, he's so sad because he's been sick and I don't take care of him. <laughs> and he's been working even though he's sick. So hopefully he can get a doctor's note so he can get like official days off from work and work won't hassle him about it. What if Jeremy sees this? So who cares? It's true, he does hassle. Um, but we're at the patient first, which I've been to before when I had to get um, like a work physical. It's pretty nice. Um, it's pretty pretty okay. It's not like the worst urgent care. But it's, not, it's not the best either, I don't think. It's nice though. People were really friendly, so hopefully you have a good experience, Matthew. Um, so yeah, we'll update you as to what they say about his eye. Hopefully, because last time he had it, I think he had his thigh for like over a week, right? It like didn't really go down. So hopefully this one goes by quick because, I don't know, that just sucks. So we're at the optometrist. This is like two days later. We went to our patient first, or like the urgent care. He's getting worse, so now we're at the optometrist. So hopefully, like he'll actually. Death. <laughs> I'm not documenting your death. I'm just showing the people the struggle that you go through. Um, but it's really cool. They have like um, a mold of an eye. I'll show you. Look at that. I think that's supposed to be like a contact. I don't know, but it has like the veins. I love these like molds and like demonstrations that I always have at the doctor's office. Hi guys. Let's see if I can zoom into the TV. Can you read that? If you can read that, then you have good eyesight. I got I'll let you know if Matthew's eye falls out. Stay tuned. You see that side lens? Side lens for my camera and my eyes. That's crazy. Only the real people know what's up. <laughs> okay guys, so we're back home from the doctor. The doctor said Matthew's gonna be fine. His eye's not gonna fall out. <laughs> Basically, he said what he has is a clogged like gland in his like tear duct area, I guess. Um, but he has an antibiotic that he has to take, I think for the next week, right? Yeah. 
um and then he has to do like really hot like the doctor said boiling water wearing your eyelid off basically he said he was really funny um he has to do that like compresses hot water compress on his eye um just throughout the day and he did get some days off so he's going to be able to rest until he feels better um but yeah that's it we're back home so thank you guys for watching our vlog see you guys next time bye